Yes, it's true. I watched 20 dark web mystery box videos on YouTube. Approximately five hours of unsuspecting victims opening disturbing packages sent from clearly demented anonymous individuals who offer these packages for purchase on the dark web. The internet's chilling shadows. These people spent anywhere from $50 to $200,000 to explore the contents of these frightening orders. And after sitting through these eerie, unnerving vlogs, I've come to the conclusion that This is some of the dumbest shit on YouTube. If you're not familiar with these dark web mystery box videos, it's simple. The vlogger begins the video by telling you that they have purchased a mystery box off of the dark web, meaning they have no idea what is in it. And very quickly, if you don't know what the dark web is, commonly grouped with the deep web, it's merely all the websites and information that have not been indexed by search engines. It's actually the majority of the internet, but we don't see it. You use a completely different browser when accessing it, and because it's not a part of the surface web, you have a lot of anonymity. So yes, there is a lot of nefarious, illegal activity occurring throughout, but it's not illegal to access nor browse. But be warned, with poor navigation or heedless curiosity, you can access things you shouldn't have access to. Or that you may not want access to. The dark web does not process debit cards. The currency used to purchase items on there is Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, for its many advantages with anonymity. There's much more to it than just that, and it's not all illegal activity, but it is a rather large part of it. So after these geniuses give their Bitcoin to some anonymous seller and they don't get scammed, the package arrives and they unbox it before you. And I can't give you a straight answer on what comes in the boxes, because after watching multiple unboxings, the items are anything from glasses, to weird books, to unknown substances, to brand new Playstations, to supposed murder weapons, to yes, bad content. You'll often hear the introduction of, hey guys, we're here back with another mystery box. Because the majority of people I watched have more than one video of this nature. It's been a bit of a cash cow these past few months. I definitely missed the peak of it, but it's still going today. Some channels have even just completely converted their content to just opening boxes. Some even creating some sort of storyline that they mess with the wrong dark web people and now they're being stalked or kidnapped. Or their page is now taken over by the Legend 27 or some shit. Not well received, but not my channel. Moving on. To the ignorant, to the naive, let me quickly disprove the legitimacy of these videos just so we can get that out of the way. I'm sure the majority of my fan base know that these are fake, but regardless, here you go. Usually, these guys quickly explain what the dark web, deep web, shadow realm is, and they all explain it in the same way. The sexy way of explaining the dark web. Guys, it's this part of the internet where you can buy drugs, guns, hire hitmen, look at kitty porn. Trust me, you do not want to go there. Why should I trust you, James? Why? When nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever shown any type of proof that they made this purchase on the dark web. It's not illegal to just be on the dark web. You can record yourself doing it and put it in the video. And as far as I know, making a purchase on the dark web isn't illegal either. I think it depends on the legality of the product. I would say it's more so just a massive risk. And I guarantee you that the overwhelming majority of you do not have the knowledge nor the patience to learn how to properly navigate the deep web to safely find a page that apparently sells missing children's clothes and bloody knives. I wouldn't say the dark web is necessarily like a minefield. I would say if you go looking for trouble, you're gonna find it. So what living, breathing person would put their privacy, security, and freedom at risk for a YouTube video? I can name a couple, but that's not the point. Ordering the box alone is a huge risk because you don't know what's in it. What if it's drugs? which apparently some of you found. You just purchased drugs illegally and admitted to it on camera. What if there's a gun, which some of you also found? You just purchased a firearm illegally and admitted to it on camera. I honestly shouldn't even be digging this deep. The products that these people discover combined with their reactions are enough proof for me that these aren't real, but not everyone is so privy to these types of things. And also some people are stupid. I'm looking at you person that still thinks this is real. Stupid. Fucking dummy! Are you dumb? This video was the very first one I watched because, well, he was first in the search results. And I think this guy is great at prefacing the awful quality and monotonous structure of these videos. So you start by telling us, hey, it's really hard to get onto the dark web. Now, if you guys don't know what the dark web is, it's some place that's really hard to get into. You can hire a bunch of people to do bad things on there and you can also buy bad things on there. But then he immediately says he purchased this box off a link from a YouTube video. I went on a bunch of these videos and I found one guy who unboxed some really weird stuff and he actually had a link down below. Uh, this website had a bunch of really weird pictures of a bunch 
bunch of pictures that I never want to see again. And also, they had a little bit of merch, which was their uh, dark web mystery boxes. That's grade A research right there. Hey, by the way, I bought a mystery box from the dark web uh, off a of YouTube link. With a web page that had really weird photos. Was it feet? Was it a lot of feet? Was it suckingtoes.com? What the fuck is that thing? Do you guys remember what that website's called? We find out later that King runs this website called Hot Barefoot Women. This website had a bunch of really weird pictures. Back in action, we're back in the action, boys. When am I gonna get a cool fucking intro, guys? Alright, so we have two Oh, it smells awful. Alright, first off, we gotta get into this. So, ah, ah, ow! What the f- There is glass in here! Ooh, there's just a bunch of broken glass from a light bulb. It looks like that's awesome. I, like what? What would be the sender's thought process behind something like that? I'm gonna put broken glass inside the box in the unlikely scenario that this idiot blindly judo chops the contents inside. First thing that's kind of freaking me out is we have this with my blood on it already. Hold on, let me put on the mask and glasses he gave me. I shouldn't worry about these at all. These are probably clean. We got a clock. That's kind of sick. I don't know why there's a clock in here. No. That's kind of. Is that not freaky? Can't fr I can't have these on. Is that not freaky? Wait, the clock's ticking? You mean it's working? Demons! He then opens a container apparently filled with his channel. There's feces in here. There's literal human feces. And now he reaches for the only item left, which always coincidentally ends up being paramount to the rest of the box in every video. So please thumbs up this video, leave comments down below. If you guys leave comments down below, let's get shared and I get more money. He calls his mom and then tells her to call the police, then realizes it's a toy foot wrapped in plastic. Yes, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's a toy, it's a toy, okay? I got pranked, I got pranked. It's fake! It's fake! It's a flippin' rubber toy! It's fake! It's fake! It's a flippin' rubber toy! I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, I might do an outro on this video or whatever, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Oh god, I'm so happy right now. Oh, I'm so happy that I spent $100 on shit. Actual shit. By the way, he really drags this one out with his reaction. <sighs> 10 minute gang. And that was just one of many. Now I'm not gonna go through all 20 videos because that would just hurt me more than it would hurt you. But I will go through a select few. Also, I don't wanna fail to mention that a lot of these videos are obnoxiously long for no reason. I watched two that were practically a half hour each. Then I saw the next suggested video was 37 minutes long and no, no. After that, if it wasn't under 15 minutes, I wasn't watching it. And even some of those felt like 30 minutes. With these lifeless taxidermy projects taking their sweet ass time displaying their top notch acting skills. I don't know, it kind of smells weird. Everything kind of, like, I'm <coughs> like I'm choking on myself because it smells weird. It smells so fucking weird, like, I don't know, it doesn't smell like bad? Okay, it does smell bad, but it, it smells more weird than bad, I don't know. But some people did put in some effort. Which brings me to my next video, and yes, this is one of the half hour ones. This video is debatably the best out of the bunch that I watched. If it was chopped down a bit, it'd be a lot more tolerable, but it's good video quality, good sound, and they kind of gave a shit. So this guy here paid $300 for this box. He opens it and they find a phone right off the bat and they check it out. So it's got 27 battery life on it, it says swipe to unlock, and it has one app. It's a black home screen with one app on it. Those dark web people, dude. Always changing their phone backgrounds to appear more menacing. All right, so there's three pictures in the gallery. So the first one looks like some kind of a house, but there's a house and that's it. And then the third picture is just black darkness. This one looks kind of far away. This one looks like it gets a little bit closer and then this one's just black. Wait a minute. That third picture is all black and vertical. That's weird. It's almost like it was made to be the background. I know that's not like some huge revelation, but just, just the way he built it up, like, oh, and a black screen. Darkness. There is a kid's backpack inside this box. Really? This is like, like a little boy's outfit. 
In a girl's backpack. In a girl's backpack. Challenging gender roles? Dark web is crazy. This girl caught a lot of heat in the comments because she just played this character of, I want nothing to do with this. So she was like a parrot the whole half hour. And people were like, why the fuck is she even here? I have no parts in this. I'm just here. Can we make that like extremely clear? A lot of stuff that I want no parts. I just want that shit as far away from me as possible. You so. cannot get me to pay $300 for a box full of random junk. People want to know. You want to know. Can I just mention that this makes me feel We very know. Good. We all know. I have no words. You nope. notice in these dark web mystery boxes that they throw every subgenre of horror or oddity at the wall to see what creeps you out. Phones with ominous pictures, missing children, inclusion of religion, war, murder, Satan, chase station. Back with another banger video, guys. It's the most electrified move. It's sports entertainment today. Oh, the people that want. Number three is ripped. So this is this was a pop up number. Oh, there we go. Also, they show us a name at the bottom of the backpack, like, hmm, this might have belonged to her. Which is a tactic a lot of these videos use, where they introduce something where you have to conduct your own Google search, and then you learn something on your own and you get spooked. Some using this tactic less subtle than others. All right, guys, so right off the bat, I have no idea what this word means. And I'm pretty scared. If you guys could do me a favor, Right now, if anybody knows what this word is, drop it in the comments, or if you can look up what this word means, drop it in the comments and let What will be the, oh, parties and holidays. Okay, so they're wearing like some face mask type stuff. All right, so there's some altercation. Wow. What type of person would do something like that. The type of person who would pay $300 for a box off the internet. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of funny imagining them doing this. They just pull like a children's book and they're like, what could we do that's weird? You should draw the kid getting crucified, yes! And then X's on the eyes? I like it, I like it, keep going. I don't think the dark web people are the ones we should be worried about. Oh my God. That is really weird. This looks like the background music is a bit much, guys. I don't mind you setting the tone, but this devil trumpet with flex dropping bombs on it is OD. Do we have to do this, like, right now? Well, I mean, we're already halfway through it. We might as well just finish the unboxing. If I'm wearing gloves while touching this stuff, do, do gloves inhibit the, uh, the curse? The spirits? The curse? Oh, absolutely I mean, not. that's not like my skin. Oh, my skin not. has not no. touched any of this. No. <clears throat> gloves do not stop spirits. Let me tell you. Oh. We got an expert here, boys. Listen, I've tried multiple occasions. I've been through some shit. And every time I've tried to stop evil spirits, nothing. I was overtaken with ease. Gloves don't stop evil spirits. Love stops evil spirits. Thank you for watching my TED Talk. So as the video progresses, they give us some scavenger hunt, whodunit scenario, right? They give us a bunch of numbers during the video and honestly, I don't think they correlate at all. I think it just works better for them in terms of analytics for everyone to ask questions and write theories in the comments, but I don't think there's an actual answer. And at the end of it all, they Jake Paul us and drag us into another video because of a flash drive, because we just gotta know what's on it. And honestly, I tried to avoid watching two videos from the same vlogger because like I mentioned before, people were milking the hell out of this trend. But this asshole just dragged me on a road to nowhere for 30 minutes and I need answers. What's in the fucking flash drive? Uh, spoiler alert. The flash drive is just a poor man's ring tape. Now, if you want to talk about someone milking this trend, and you want to talk about this channel. Yeah, he's one of those channels. And the video I happened to watch from him was buying the ultimate $100,000 dark web mystery box. Now you might be thinking how, why? would anyone spend that type of money on cardboard? But luckily our guy here is a YouTuber. But that's not where he got the money, because I can see your views, it's not where you got the money. Apparently his friend hit it big with cryptocurrency and he's funding the video for him, because he's a great friend. Don't believe him? <laughs> he even shows us evidence of the text conversation. What would you think about doing a $100,000 deep web mystery box? I'm down, let's do it. 
Well, if that's not the most concrete evidence I've ever seen in my life. Please believe me. Please believe me. So what you are seeing now costs about a hundred and two thousand dollars. When I say that, I'm not I'm not kidding at all. You're not kidding. You're lying. Why does everyone just throw logic out the window with these types of things? It doesn't make sense. Unless the guy's sending you the never before listened to Wu-Tang album, or unless its video gets like a hundred million views and not demonetized in the process, you're not getting your money back. Not even close. If your friend was smart enough to invest in cryptocurrency at the time he did, I really doubt he's stupid enough to fucking do this. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new. For God's sake, this costs over a hundred thousand dollars. When I say that, I am not kidding. This guy has Supreme stickers all over his Mac. Why don't you suck a fart out of my house? So all he finds is one of those little scanny thingies and then a printed out paper of just computer gibberish. And the scan apparently takes him to a Coinbase account with over $800,000 in Ethereum. And then he's like, well, actually just kidding. It's a scam. Me and my friend looked into it. It's a scam. Who would have thought? And this all has somehow taken up 11 minutes of the video. Then we get to the good part. By all means, go ahead and join the Discord. Links are below in the description as well as the pinned comment. I don't really know much what is this the hatred Holy sh to top it off he goes to check out the mysterious knock and he comes back to his computers and he's like oh no hackers have penetrated our defenses what the fuck what the fuck is a guy who has apparently spent more time on the dark web than ISIS. This guy has ordered a lot of box. Probably not the only one he pays for. This video is a whopping 26 minutes. Is it gonna keep going here? If we cut it, it's still going. Well, what's going on guys? Welcome. He's gonna leave in the audio from your first take. On that intro? Well, what's going on guys? Looks promising. These are also very expensive and I wouldn't be able to afford these myself. Luckily, there's a lot of people out there that want to see me do these as well. So they've been purchasing them for me. So I can't say thank you enough to them. You guys are amazing. This guy says that his subscribers have been buying these deep web mystery boxes for him, but he's got like 27K subs. And that doesn't completely disprove what he said, but when I had 27K subs, I maybe had like two people donating to me on Patreon. I really doubt I would have had multiple people giving me hundreds of dollars to buy boxes off the web. Maybe he's just got a better fan base. I don't know. What do you think, GGers? When this came in the mail, it was attached with a letter. The letter said that this is going to be probably the scariest and most in-depth mystery box on my channel and even on YouTube. <laughs> so are you telling me that the dark web sender watches your videos? Cause that's kind of what you're implying. We're off to a terrible start with this guy. Uh, and the rest of the video follows suit. I like the consistency. So my main criticism is that this video is too fucking long. And this is coming from someone whose last upload was 41 minutes long, which is gonna be re-uploaded because it was age restricted, copyright claimed, and also demonetized. I worked too fucking hard on that video, YouTube. Don't be that guy. But obviously the difference being that my videos are very tight. I don't think this is an accurate depiction of tight. But their videos are hardly condensed. I understand slow pacing sometimes adds to the tension and scary factor, but this video could be a clean 10 minutes, 13 at the most. I don't wanna see you slowly open things that you bagged up, especially when the camera is so far away that I can't tell what anything is. This is also where you realize that the background tracks are actually really important to these types of videos because this video is so bland. I get the overbearing background tracks kind of cheese it a bit, but I'd much rather have that than this Silence! No. There's this too. A flashlight. I don't know what that might be. Oh, well, no way. No oh, way. What is that? God. It's a bullet. So, deep inside the wallet is this bullet. Um, 
That's crazy. That's not crazy. That's a bullet. That's one bullet. Ammunition. That's not scary. This video is so tough to sit through. What's even what's even the title of this? Three douchebags open a box for 20 minutes. It looks like Where's the knife? Oh, we have plenty to spare. <laughs> Sorry for the thunder? That's what you think is ruining my video experience? The thunder? <laughs> Shocking. They really overdo it with the things they bring out that are just gross or completely destroyed. Just because you ordered something from the dark web doesn't mean there's a gang of psychopaths finding random antiques and fixing up these horror movie loot crates like fucking demented elves in a workshop. But yeah, of course, considering this video is about what, like 20 minutes long, I assume? Um, there's still this. If you guys want to see what's on the flash drive, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that motherfucking bell, enter my V-Bucks giveaway so you can see what's on the flash drive even though I'm gonna post that video regardless. You don't want to miss this one. And just like the other half hour video, I couldn't help myself. I needed to see what was on the flash drive. And yep, it's just pictures off Google. I'm not even sure if I can show this to you guys. you, Andrew. Fuck you. Oh my god. So at one point, he shows this picture, obviously covering the girl's breast, but then he zooms in and fails to move the cover with the zoom, so her titties are just out. But here I am getting age restricted. I didn't even show titties. Also, I should probably mention, um, the block on the bottom, I put that in there, because in his video, her pussy's just out. So for censoring purposes, he tried to cover her chest and then completely ignored her exposed vagina. Subscribe. Why do I do these kind of things? Okay, I'm gonna cover her little things up. So, insert bar, whatever. This is crazy. <laughs> hey yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Bees and you're the nation. Together we are Bees Nation and I'm coming in hot with another video. Dude, I need an intro. I need to be this fucking cool. This guy must have took a whole 70 seconds to write up this one. He opens his box, finds a paper, baking soda, gloves, scissors, and teeth. Look at this empty ass box. But of course, everyone needs that fallback. The SD card. Oh shit. All right, so there's an SD on this. Now I seen this uh, guy named Guava. So he got like a bunch of Bitcoin and so like, <laughs> I don't know if you can put Bitcoin on a USD or whatever the hell it's called. So he got like a bunch of Bitcoin and so like, <laughs> I don't know if you can put Bitcoin on a USD or whatever the hell it's called. This box just took a fucking turn. Um, I put the SD into my laptop. There's one thing on this SD card, it's a video. Just watch this video. What the fuck was that? Are these dark web people supposed to be this creatively ambitious? Putting filters and sound effects on their recorded killings? Why not just show you an actual snuff film? Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause YouTube has guidelines. This video is 20 minutes and holy shit did people not like it. Wonder why? These guys couldn't be fucked to look for fake creepy things. So they just went Christmas shopping. Tell me an Xbox. Is it real? Yay. It's got to be! Oh, it's controller with it. Controller as well. Giorgio Armani aftershave. Oh, sealed up. What is it? Some spanners. Brand new power cable. Box double. Two power cables. Real time recording. Video. Is it stolen stuff? I think it's stolen. I like effort. When I don't see effort, I don't like your content. And it has to be more than the bare minimum. I don't just automatically hate videos with concepts that are crap or fake videos, i.e. pranks, social experiments. If there is effort, if there is entertainment, 
if there is comedy, if there is anything of interest, I'm okay with it. Even though I know you're lying to me, you can still entertain. It's like a skit, it's like a reality show. But instead, you idiots just grab whatever the hell, throw it in there, hope for the best of your improv skills. Listen, I know it's tough to please someone like me. I know too much about this video space and I'm a nitpicky prick. I know it's much easier to cater to the naive, but I don't know, I appreciate effort when I see it. I'll show my address. Cinder unknown. I don't think that's how postage works. I don't think that's how postage works. Seems like some type of padding or something. I foam to keep the stuff safe. Okay. Oh yeah, huh? You're right. That might could block out the scanner. That might block out the scanner? This is gonna block x-rays? This inch? Thick foam? This cheap trash can hardly absorb sound. Pro tip. Looks like some shoes. Oh my god. There's some doodle on there, bro. Put those down, bro. Don't these smell horrible. Oh my god, guys. You got look at my eyes, bro. Don't put them on there, bro. Dude, these things smell so bad. I believe you, dude. I do. It looks like someone stepped in shit with those shoes from Payless. But here's the thing, that doesn't scare me. Foul smells by themselves don't scare me. Doo doo is not spooky. It's like everyone watched Shane Dawson's documentaries and we're like, oh, you just put in scary music to scare people. This doo doo, oh, oh. somebody ran through some doo doo. Oh, damn. You don't want to check it there your size? No. It's monkeys. See? Three monkeys. You see what they're doing? Okay. What are they doing? Oh, look, look, guys. Look. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Are you, that does, that's not what it means. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Wow, that's a good guess. My first guess was monkey see, monkey do, so. Oh! Bro! There's a bunch of hair on it, bro. Get it away from oh. me. Hair on a hairbrush, dirt on a shoe. Evil! This guy at least. Somewhat seems to embrace the silliness of this, so. Whatever, moving on. Oh, fuck. So I guess we can finally move on. Gene! New iOS firmware update complete. If everyone watching this video doesn't like and subscribe, Gene will die. You have 24 hours. Jay! Gene! Jay! Oh my god! I've heard Jay Station's name tossed around a lot. You know, he does the, those 3 a.m. videos and all this. He's cancer, he fakes videos, whatever. But I've never full on watched a Jay Station video. And I probably should have kept it that way. Even off the thumbnail, Jay becomes a parody of himself combining two trends. What's up, guys? Back with another banger video. So Jay has two mystery boxes. He has this ammo crate that's $100. And this bad boy is $10,000. It was $10,000. $10,000 guys, no lie, $10,000. Every single time I freaking upload a video, it's goddamn yellow. It's gotten to that point where like I'm working for free, bro. Like I got a little bit of money, but like if this keeps up guys, like my channel is gonna be dead. $10,000. Like I'm gonna blow through all my savings and I'm gonna be homeless by the time this is done if I don't make this Patreon guys. So I'm asking you guys for $10,000. This guys, oh my freaking god, dude! Is this a freaking gun? Whoa, guys, this is super illegal in Canada. You're not allowed to have guns. That's where we live in Canada. Oh my god, I don't even think I should touch that. Oh my god, I don't even think I should touch that. This is really dangerous, guys. I honestly don't know. You really gotta be careful, kids. You never put your face on the trigger. Every time there's some paranormal stuff, you get like millions of freaking flies. My house is super paranormal. And just in the last week, look at all of these freaking flies, guys. What the hell? Guys, I have no idea what's going on. I think I need to call a priest. Oh my God. No, no, no. J Station has the voice flow of chills, but just louder and more annoying. Drones allow us to explore areas that we would otherwise never dare step foot in, and as they fly through the sky high above, number 11, it is tied shut by this like, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a belt, guys. Are like, these guys all second graders? What is that? What does that do? People pull out regular everyday objects and all of a sudden they're from the 1700s. What to be if this? Better be something good inside, guys. You can't afford 
honored to be doing $10,000 mystery boxes with YouTube these days. That's why we're opening up that Patreon, guys. We need to do banger videos. They ain't cheap. All right, we o Oh my God. I really don't like you. Everyone else, annoying. Yeah. But I really don't like you. I've seen all the JStation memes. I've seen where he's like exploited people who recently died. It's all fucked up, right? But you are real life scummy. Give to my Patreon so I can spend $10,000 on unowned packages. I know you didn't actually do that, but the fact that you would advertise it that way? That's not even real, dude. Whoa, look at this symbol right there, guys. What the hell is that? Canadians not up to date on Nazis? Or should I say, Nazis? A's? No, it's not gonna make the cut. So I wanted to cover what I believe to be the pioneer of this trend. Cause I think this guy was the first one to do this because when people first mentioned this to me, they all sent me this video. And he even says he was the first one to do it. But ironically enough, even if he was the first one to do it, he was also one of the worst to do it. This video sucks. He goes through the whole box, finds an iPad, doesn't even flinch that he found a fucking iPad. Let me just move this iPad out of the way. Hold on guys. By the way, a bunch of people put blood on random items in the box and I won't take credit for this. I read it in the comment. Dried blood isn't bright red. It's much, much darker. Science. Does it look too much like ketchup? Nah, they're retarded. They, they'll, they'll think it's blood. Also something interesting I wanted to include in this video is uh... Como si fuera un poco la película de La Bruja de Blair. No sé si alguno la habéis visto, la conoces, Satum, sí. Es que sí, rollo con la cámara y todo el rollo, o sea, todas las reacciones van a ser reales, todas las reacciones van a estar grabadas, este video no va a ser tan... Everyone has these types of people. How naive of me to think that this is strictly an American thing. You don't even know what the hell he's saying, but you can feel the AIDS flowing through you. Todas las reacciones van a ser reales, todas las reacciones van a estar grabadas, este video no va a ser tan... Que me ha costado 300 euros, tío. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Satu, 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 Satu. No quiero saber qué coño te está trayendo todo esto. ¿Qué? Use it wise. Utilízalo de forma sabia, o sea, utilízalo pensando con cabeza. Dios. So, okay. So the guy you ordered it off of just happens to be bad at English too. Is that what you're telling me? You know what's always a good sign for one of these videos? Disabled likes. For some reason, a lot of these videos are bombed with dislikes. I don't know why. And I'm not trying to make a joke. Shitty trend videos usually have like a slightly below average like ratio. But some of these trendy videos got slaughtered. And I think it's because they did that bad of a job of persuading you that this is real. You have a gullible audience at your feet and you couldn't even sway them. This guy failed completely. He didn't know what he wanted to go for. He tried to be too cool for this. The dark web is like the scary side of the internet. It really isn't. Most of it's fake shit. And police setups but by also being fully committed to it yo what and also completely oblivious as to how cameras work I just focused okay it's focused i don't really i don't know is it gonna focus or is that like a biker glove i don't know um fuck i gotta fix this focus um i, I actually know a little bit about cameras we are gonna be unboxing the biggest mystery box I could find. The world's largest mystery box. Look at this guy's name. The irony. The fucking irony. Joe Hall's long lost brother just gets stuff. It's just stuff. Couldn't even slap some hot sauce on the sword he got. Do you even care, Elie? By the way, he just leaves an extra two minutes of black screen with music at the end of the video. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Peace. Is this who we're giving check marks to nowadays, YouTube? Put some respect on my name. This guy looks like he doesn't even want to do this. You look bored opening a torture kit. This guy tries making like a scary episode out of it, which like I said, I don't mind. It comes off as a skit. Why don't more people do it like this? It's already outrageous, go for it all. The worst thing about this guy is that he must have just been told that more comments get your video more traction because the entire video, he is begging you to type anything below. Anybody knows what this word is, drop it in the comments or if you could look up what this word means. If anybody knows what this the devil card means or what kind of even card this is, please let me know. Just drop me a comment, let me know what kind of card drop this is. Drop me a like right now because you guys are forced. If anybody to knows to. what it's saying, please drop a comment right now and tell me what guys, is this give me your top comment. Maybe I just can't. Drop me a comment right now. Drop me a comment tell me right now. Find the lock, and I will find the you guys lock. Want me to play, man? Let's do it. Drop that like right now. Oh, we'll show us right now. Maybe the lock or the room of the place. He does it so much; it's almost parody-like. It's like a haunted Dora the Explorer episode. Wait, I got it. Wait, hope. 
Oh my god. My final verdict on these types of videos, I would say it's one of the more worst trends because I think these aren't necessarily harmless. Kids are stupid, so are some adults. I wouldn't be surprised if someone contacted like a family who just lost a loved one or like a family who has someone missing and they're like, hey, this guy found a backpack that looks similar to your daughter's. And I know it sounds stupid, but let me remind you for like the eighth time, people are stupid. I could see people learning how to try and get on the dark web and either stumbling onto the wrong thing or actually giving money to some scammer cashing in on the trend. I get why the videos are popular, the dark web. It's so unknown to the majority of us that it just piques our interest. So when someone brings a piece of that back to us, we're curious and we wanna watch it. I don't think such a service exists on the dark web. And even if it did, I don't believe any of these people got their packages from the dark web because you know how easy it is to go to Goodwill, spend $35 and full millions? It's this easy. I heard about these dark web mystery box videos online. Did buy one a few days ago. It just arrived. I have it right here. Dude, uh, what the fuck? You guys aren't gonna believe what I found in this photo album. I think I know who sent me this box. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Hit the post notification bell because YouTube doesn't do anything to help me. You can check out my dark web mystery unboxing on my second channel. And also, I, I think it's time I do one of those videos. Yeah, one of those videos. In honor of 150K, why not do a Q&A? So if you would like a chance for your question to be answered on the next video or maybe the next two videos, leave a question in the comments below and hashtag it GGQ. That way I can just search it like that and it'll be easy to find. Like my Facebook page because I actually kind of want to start integrating that page because I've neglected the living fuck out of it so far. Facebook always notifies me like, hey dude, these couple thousand people haven't heard from you in a while. You wanna not be a deadbeat dad? As always, shout out to my new patrons for supporting the boy. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out. Bye.